Now, 20 minutes later, the fog is now moving up the valley. I just seen, it wasn't a squirrel. I don't know what it was. It wasn't a ferret or like a marmot or something. It's probably long gone now. It wasn't moving very fast. Maybe he fell out of a tree. Let's see if I can find where he went. It's probably long gone. Where did he go? He's probably in a hole out in here somewhere. Yeah. Huh, never seen that kind of creature before. I've only seen a, basically its backside as it was running away, but it was fat. It wasn't a squirrel. It was big fat. Yeah, like a marmot or something. It wasn't long and skinny. Oh, I wonder what that was. If I had a GoPro on my helmet, I would have seen it. Yeah. Um, okay, so my plan is, I'll show you. So this one here, he's leaning right up into here. So I'm gonna get all this out of the way, then I'll fall that one. And then, um, I think I'll just get the rest of this stuff and then I'll get this big cedar. I mean, I could take this big cedar right now or I could take it later. It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, now that I got this tree out of the way, I can definitely tell I got a really good lean that way. I can definitely tell now. So yeah, I'm going to dump her down right down in there. Maybe I'll fall some of this non-merch, small saplings, understory stuff, these little trees down to help cushion the impact. Should have made that stump higher. Because I think this tree is going to roll right over that stump because that stump's pretty low to the ground. Yeah, it's a bummer. Should have thought of that. But uh, yeah, so this blue ribbon here, that's the center line of a road going out. And then right here is a junction. There's a spur that goes to the left. You can see way down there, a little sapling, I cut the top off, some blue ribbon on it. There's that center line. And then these saplings over here, full full height ones and have them on top so they are the, the road that goes that way and it turns around and goes that way yeah and then we get the big chopper flying i can hear him but i can't see him he's way down the valley there flying wood Okay, lunch time. Just had to finish that one. I'm gonna have a bite to eat. And I'm gonna sit right here, right on this little burl. It's sticking out, has a nice little seat right there.
to work and the sun's coming out. I'll show you. Look at that. Beauty. Oh, man, this is all done. This flat area over here. And you see this fog bank here moving its way down the valley. And these guys over there on the heli, on the hillside way up there. And from their perspective, looks like it's a big whiteout coming, but it's not. It's just a thin, a thin strip of fog just passing through. And there's up the valley. Might be a little bit more fog. Way up there, maybe coming around the corner here. I'll have to watch it though, but we should easily get the day in just fine. Yeah. Um, and then I got this big one that's leaning heavily right into here. I want to throw it right into there. So I had to save it until I had a hole there, which I'll get right now. I'll go buck this one here and then fall that one. Then I got this big cedar here. Um, and then for the rest of the day, you see the, the hill changes, right? There's a ridge right here. It drops off right there, and then it's kind of a gentle slope that goes this way. I'm going to work right up along this ridge here for the rest of the day. And then tomorrow, there's another up in the, up the hill. There's an opening that a couple other fallers were uh, opening up on another pad up there. So I'm going to work my way up there and work on that and jump up on that face for tomorrow. And... Uh, have that whole face to myself. There's two guys down here. And then a couple of days, there's gonna be another guy coming into camp. So, who, and he'll pair up with me. But all three of us are real close. So it's not, no concern about distance there. But uh, yeah, they wanna have two pairs up here instead of three guys. <clears throat> and then everything around, all this goes, the whole ridge wraps around, right, you see? Right, so everything you see, that all goes, that all goes. So this is just like a, being left as an alternate. So when those guys in the heli uh, get weathered out, um, generally for too much fog, I hope it's windy up there, but calm down here. Well, then they'll jump down here because this is a big block. And then we'll all just uh, put the day in here. Just so we're not sitting at camp. So just an alternate. So it's getting brighter now, that's great. What else I was gonna say? Remember, yeah, let's see something else. Oh, that's right. Okay, you see, we'll have to zoom in more. Where is it? Right, that block right there. Um, that needs to be felled. That's where we're going next. So, I'll zoom in more. So, you can see the road, right? You see the road. In the middle there, angling up to the left. Um, so you can see there's a little bit in the high side that's already been started, but there's more to do there. But over here, I'll zoom back out. I'll zoom out some more. You see this ridge right here? Well, between this ridge and that hillside there, there's an avalanche chute, and the block goes right to the edge of the avalanche chute, so we had to leave it for a while over the winter there because it was too risky for big avalanche, snow avalanche. So they work the far side away from the avalanche chute. Um, but that's where we're going next. I don't know, wait, a couple weeks maybe, who knows. Uh, being that it's still kind of winter, coming into spring soon here, the sun's still quite low. So I think this mountain right here, those guys have got mountain shade. They're working right there. These mountains giving them shade from the sun. But we're in the sun, so that's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah, they're definitely, where are they? They're right about there. Yeah. And it's looking pretty dark there too. Yeah. It's a thin mist of fog in, in the valley there. That's kind of cool. Okay, I gotta go to work. Lunchtime is over. Look at that, instead of the branch breaking, it peeled itself right off from the tree. It took a huge chunk of the tree with it.
Got a nice easy one. Let's go bucket now.
Well, she's getting brighter and it stopped raining. It's gonna take my rain gear off. I'm cooking. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna rain for the rest of the day. I think it's gonna be nice for the rest of the day. Yeah. Heli pads just right up there. And I got that one big cedar left right there. And then a little pocket right here. And then I'll work my way up on the edge all the way up to the upper pad up there for the rest of the day. Yeah, this was solid. I didn't think it was gonna be such good wood here because of the heavy lean. I was leaning right that way because I was doing as I was doing the undercut, I realized, oh, it's pretty solid. So maybe I'll try and swing my aim up to here. And it worked out great. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you at that tree. Not 20 minutes later, the fog is now moving up the valley. It was moving this way, now it's moving this way. And now, <clears throat> and now, your big fog bank that's come around from that side of the, another valley going up that way, because the main valley has an arc to it. So this main valley here turns around the hill, and then there's another one that shoots off to the right. And I guess there's some fog coming around that valley. 
from that valley and coming up this way. And it's a little foggy up there, but I can see the far mountain way back there. No one's saying anything on the radio. Some surprise, because that's where they are, right? Working right there. But they could probably see through it easy enough. Just, it's probably a thin layer, but from my point of view, it looks real thick. But for them, they're looking this way, like that. So it's probably quite thin for them. You can probably see through it down in the valley bottom here easy. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow this thing up real quick before I start on this big one. Okay, so I decided to leave my rain gear on because I got dark real quick. And it was a bit of a breeze, so it might get a quick change of the weather here real quick. Now that the fog has come up the valley and the wind's picking up, it's really picking up here. It looks like that fog where the heli guys are, it's getting worse. So if it doesn't disperse, if it comes this way in a big clump, it might just pass through, that'd be nice. Big fog bank passes through, then it'll clear up quickly. So that's a good thing about the wind sometimes. Yeah, it's not looking good though. But I wanna get this tree down before, we, if we do get fogged out, I wanna get this down before then, because then this area will be done. This little spot here.
Here comes the rain. Weather sure changes quick. So normally I cut the undercut out in pieces, but I don't know, for this time, I uh, figure I'll see if I can take it out in one big chunk. I could have taken the rakers down on this, but it's like 1% cedar in this block. The rest is hemlock balsam. So if I took the rakers down so the cedar was cutting super fast, or the saw was cutting super fast in the cedar, then it'd be way too aggressive for the hemlock and balsams. Not too much, but it. then, uh, no, that saw us. Come on. 